do you understand why many in the African American community say that words like you have nothing to lose um, are offensive? I mean, in addition to that, Donald Trump even said that this is the worst ever that the black community has been living through. Um, we've all taken history classes. Uh, you know this as a pastor as well for a community. Do you agree with that characterization? Is this the worst that the black community has ever lived through in this country? Well, what Donald Trump is simply stating is the very fact that the Democratic Party has just used the, the, the powerful voices within the black community, has just really taken advantage of that voters block, and, 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 and the community has received very little out of it. When you look at the inner cities of, of this country, um, again, uh, let me just make a side note. I, I love Mr. Trump's approach in reference to not pandering. Uh, th there isn't a such thing as the African-American community. I am a proud, th th there is a such thing as the black or the African-American culture. That is true. I'm a part of the African-American culture. I'm proud. I'm a proud black man from the South. I'm proud of my father and his grand and his father and his and his grandfather. I'm proud of my black heritage. But there isn't a such thing as the African-American community because we're not all the same. Uh, I think it's insulting and I love Mr. Trump's approach as he's dealing with the inner cities and not just the African-American community as that is political correctness at its highest. But that heritage, highest. And that it is heritage. Until we start recognizing that change. But, but that heritage, It is Pastor. until we start recognizing that change and start changing our verbiage and our word it and start looking at black people as just American citizens, that we have issues and we have but that uh, heritage needs and lived under, just that, like every American in this country. That heritage lived under slavery. That heritage lived under Jim Crow. That heritage not so long ago lived under rules where a black man and a white woman could not get married. I mean, for, for uh, Donald Trump to say that this is the worst ever, uh, I, I think a lot of people take offense to that, and not just people in the African-American community. Well, let's go back even further. Before we even landed, to a, landed here in America, it was other African slaves that enslaved other African slaves. And it, was, it wasn't the white man that chased after, uh, you know, slaves in Africa. It was other slaves who were already enslaving other slaves. America does not own slavery. It is a, it, it, for us to keep going back and discussing what happened, you know, 400 years, it, it is horrible. But, you Let's know, you're right. But we're talking about. Today. And there are injustices in this country, and we do need to deal with them, but we need to deal with them as Americans. The, the issues that, that, that are now plaguing our law enforcement and the mistrust that uh, many, in, uh, many minorities in this country have for law enforcement, it's got to cease being a black issue, and it has to become an American issue so that all of us, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, uh, Indians, uh, Native Americans, uh, we're standing arm arm, hand in hand, gay or straight. We're standing arm in arm, Muslim or Christian, standing arm in arm and saying if there's, like Dr. King, uh, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere.